if you want to create a game from scratch and you're a solo developer or maybe you're a small team of developers who want to create a game but you find yourself like like in a very very tough situation where everything that you do seems like you're doing it wrong and I know that because I've been there before many years ago I'm talking about more than 12 years ago when I first started this journey it, it, it everything was so hard we have put this knowledge into one course that will take you from a complete beginner to a professional if you follow it step by step it's it's not about just creating a prototype it's about creating a whole game with all the systems the ai the polish the particles everything is coming very nicely together so in this video i'm going to show you everything that has been updated and we are very very close to to finish it so in the first section you're gonna learn this is for very very beginner stuff uh, the first section is for free by the way you can go try it out if you want so the first section is about knowing your way around a real engine just styling the engine creating something but not only that, we also go into creating a level and we will show you how to put your character there. You will see that it looks very funny because it doesn't have any animation. And this is because it's on purpose. We will touch all those topics later on so that you learn everything first. And then little by little, we add a little bit of complexity to it. So by the end of that section, you just have a level. You know how to use some tools to create the landscapes to design levels, you will learn a lot of tips that you get in the videos from professionals like us who have been working on the AAA industry. Um, it's not only an introduction video, it's, you, it's the first step for you to, to create your game. So the second, the second section is about gameplay elements. Like we're gonna add a platform that you can move we're going to add a door that can open and close depending on where whether you, you go through it or not. We're going to add a trigger area where you can just jump, go to another platform. And all, all of these components will work beautifully between the player and the components. And you will use the best practices for that. They, they may look very simple at the beginning, but you will learn very important lessons like components and blueprint programming can be a little bit complicated we're gonna take you step by step by showing you these small examples so number three and section number three it's uh, just destroying the barrel like you may think oh well you're gonna add the enemies no we're gonna actually destroy a barrel we're gonna show you how to make destruction because adding enemies is comes later we're gonna show you how to make combo attacks, how to use animations, how, how to use those animations with blueprints so that you can create a combo attack and actually do damage. And we're going to test that with a, with a barrel. So that's very exciting. That's very exciting. Even in section three, you already know very, very important stuff at the beginning. And this is just getting started. So in section four, uh, you're going to learn about the enemy AI. You're going to learn about how to use these enemies, how to put the enemy on the field. It will patrol, it will follow you, it will attack you, and it will also have a combo attack. But not only that, it will use the same system you use in the section 3 to create your own combo attack. To use that component to tell, hey, this is a melee attack. Use the same logic. And you're doing that by using components. In a very, very smart way, you're creating a very complex mechanic just by reusing the stuff you did before. So section five, it's all about the VFX. We're going to start with the very beginning from the introduction to Niagara. And adding effects will give you a lot of feedback to your games. We're going to add the heat effect. We're going to get a, the splash effect, the slash effect. Every, every, all the effects that you, you need there. 
even if you add some effects from from the marketplace if you want it's important to know them so that you can actually change change it later so in section six we're gonna add sounds we're gonna learn about meta sounds how to use it to create some simple sounds here and how you can use those sounds into your gameplay how to play them and adding sounds to your game will greatly affect how how your gameplay feels so it, it is really really important so section seven we're gonna start decorating our level and we're gonna start by creating kits this method is heavily used on open world so if you want to create an open world you can also create use this method we're gonna work from small components that you can combine together and making it bigger and bigger and bigger so you we can have like a lot of important pieces that we can use to decorate our level we're gonna use a lot of stuff like we're gonna learn landscapes how to create an auto material how to make our level look a little bit uh, more decent not only that we're gonna build our benchmark our benchmark it's gonna be the area where we're gonna see okay this is how the rest of the level is gonna look but we're not gonna work on it just yet so uh section eight we're gonna learn about making builds making builds it's very important because you need to test your game and some things may work in the editor and some things may not so we're gonna show you a good way so you can create builds for your game how to deploy your games and test it and share it with a friend or someone this is a section where it becomes very very exciting for you because until now you don't have a game yet you you will need to call your friends to to watch your computer and open a real editor with with this you can send them the executable file and they can play them and not only they can play them you can also test your game which is really really important we talk about all about these subjects so section nine we're gonna go for the combat skill system this one is really important we're gonna use the same concepts of the as the combat ability system that is a little bit more complicated in c plus plus or we're gonna make it easy for you we're gonna have the same logic in blueprints so you can create abilities much easier when you want to add an ability it's just going to be easier for you in our case it's going to be like an aoe attack for for the character so that section very very cool very very cool uh it's going to allow you to expand your combat even 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 more so section 10 we're going to add vfx to these skills we're going to add an aoe effects we're going to jump a little bit deeper into Niagara so you can see more details about it and it's it's just gonna look great we're gonna play with camera shakes and a lot of stuff and you will notice that from this section on everything is gonna be a little bit more polished everything starts coming together at the beginning it feels like it's a long way to go but everything starts feeling much better for you feel starts to feel more polished so section 11 is going to be about a combat polish pass we're going to learn about more polish for the combat for the combat to feel great uh, combat is a very important aspect of this game so we're going to do a polish on that we're going to go even deeper into blueprints so section 12 we're going to learn about how to create a main menu we're going to create the whole cycle remember this game is going to go to steam so it needs to have a start which is the main menu and the end where you close the game right so we're gonna have the main menu we're gonna have the level and obviously we're gonna have another menu for where you pause and you want to exit the game this kind of stuff is really really important although it's very simple game it's important for you to have all the elements so this will be your introduction to to ui and in section 13 we're gonna add a user interface where we are gonna use common ui and we're gonna just add uh, an hp bar and we're gonna add a lot of visual elements to the information that we want to give to the player which is the hp the the 
MP, the magic power, and all the skill slots that you can use. We're going to have one for the moment, and uh, it's just going to be there. And we're going to link it to the, to the blueprint so you can learn more about uh, those skills. So uh, section 14, it's about decorating the gameplay elements. When you decorate a map, you can have a little bit more freedom. But when you decorate gameplay elements, such as a door that will open, platform that will move, or maybe a sign that we want to give a sign that the player wants to jump, they need to be treated a little bit different because gameplay elements need to stand out. And we're, we're going to learn that. Um, section 15, we're going to start. It's a very, very important section because we're going to add the boss. The boss fight. We're going to learn about AI. We're going to use a lot of systems that we haven't used before to, to make this guy have life. And it's, it's just a really, really fun section. Section 16. It's going to be the camera shake systems. Camera shakes are really important. And we were starting to enter into a more Polish state where we add more systems into the game where it's about the total feeling. You know, it is not a prototype like I showed you before. It's a complete game. So you're going to learn about these systems to make the camera shake. And it's just going to feel great. Like playing with the camera, zooming, zoom out, camera shakes, all of that will make your game feel really great. So section 17, it's going to be Polish, the boss mechanics. We're going to continue to work on the boss, a very important aspect of our game it's going to be the boss fight so we're going to add uh, a lot of stuff there uh, section 18 we're going to continue to work on the boss fight but this time it's going to be the visual aspect we're going to work on the bfx all the feedback that you need from the boss jumping into landing to making an attack and everything everything will have a very very polished Niagara effect so that you you can not only if you don't add these effects honestly no matter how much polish you have in your in your code it's just gonna feel like a prototype all right so when you add that yeah, that the combat is just gonna feel much better last section 19 we're gonna decorate the rest of the environment you're you're gonna learn specifically uh, from me, you're going to learn the lessons from decorating environments, what you do in AAA studios, how do you go about when to put this mesh, when to put another one, how to make your paths more interesting. And not only that, whenever you we finish decorating all the level, we're going to add invisible blocking volumes to make sure the player cannot fall uh, by any means. And we're going to add more enemies into the level so now you have a game you start there is enemies into the level there is uh, everything's polished and you have the boss fight at the end so what's next for us uh, we will be working on the areas that are left on the game we're not far from finishing it and obviously this has been a long journey for us so right now to celebrate this big milestone we are offering a 50 percent discount uh, during these days so if you want to try it out it's for free you can grab the first section for free or if you want to buy it you you have 30 uh, 30 days where you can try it see if it's for you it's an expensive course it's not for everyone but if it's for you then it's going to be very, very helpful for you to become a really good game developer. You're going to learn a lot of skills. And if it's not for you, you can always ask for a refund. And we'll gladly refund your uh, what you paid. Uh, no problem at all. So we're, we're, you're going to see more updates from us. Obviously, we're focusing in this course for, for a long time. Uh, that's why you see less free tutorials on YouTube. We are focusing all our energy into this course. After this course finish, we're going to go back to 
to YouTube more often, but we want to make sure we are going to give you the best possible course you can have in a real engine to really turn you in that complete beginner, turn you into a professional and how long it can take this course. That depends on you. It can take months. Maybe it can take a year where you learn everything. That depends on how fast you want to learn. But definitely it's not something like you learning one day. You're going to create your project. You're going to, you're going to be there. Not only that, you, you can share your progress with us. You can share that. We, you can share in the community. We can go there to guide you. If, if you have any trouble, you, we can go there to help you. And also you have access to past live streams where we touch other topics like extra topics that we don't touch in the course because it's like an, it's an extension, but it's like good to know. A lot of this stuff is also available for you and all these assets that we give for free, they're also available for you to use in your projects. So make sure to check it out. It's free. You can start today. Today, it's the day that you can start creating your project. If you have been thinking about, I want to create a game, I want to create a project by myself, but I just don't know where to start. And there's so much information everywhere, everywhere. Today, it's the day where you actually sit down, create your project. We will guide you step by step. And it's like, you know what? We're going to create a game and you're going to follow these steps and it's going to work wonderfully. And that's it, guys. I hope I see you in the course. And until next time.